everybody. Today, Rado runs through his Rado runs through voting procedures, which is hopefully going to be a fairly quick video. I just wanted to put together because I just finished my yearly fundraising campaign, and so I've got a whole bunch of new Rado runs through backers who have become voters who will be helping me over the next year choose roughly about 25% of all the videos I film every month. Now, don't tune out if you weren't a backer. Even if you're just a fan of the show, you can still have a huge impact on what games I film every month, and I'm going to show you how right now. It starts with you, whoever you might be, requesting that I run through a game. And you do that on the Rotto Runs Through Request Geek List. You can just find that at request.rotto.com. There's a link for it down in the show note. You come here, you hit the add item button, and you add whatever game you want me to run through. Now before you do, I would ask you take a look at like this list of games that I have removed from the list because I'm not going to run through three player games. I'm not going to run through violent war games. I'm not going to run through a bunch of games. But uh, if it's the type of thing that we would normally enjoy, my wife and I, definitely add it. Now that's the first step. The second step is thumb it. These games need a lot of thumbs. The more thumbs they've got, the more likely they are to be covered. Here's Asgard's Chosen with 127 thumbs, although poor Cairo only has 73 thumbs. Um, and uh, Steam Donkey, 72 thumbs. Now, actually, if you go to thumbs.rado.com, you will find a list. This is a list of every single item that's in that geek list sorted by thumbs. What has the most thumbs as of today? Dominion Empires. What has the least thumbs? Carson City, Horses and Heroes. And that's not very good. Carson City, Horses and Heroes, which, man, I'd love to do a run-through for that, but that's not going to get a run-through anytime soon. So if you go to thumbs.rado.com and you see something, you see uh, the Claustrophobia Furor Sanguinis uh, expansion, or the Myth, the 2.0 rules run-through, or Apollo 13, or uh, Liberty and Death, the American Insurrection, whatever it might be, if you want me to run through it, come here, Follow the link, uh, Martian Dice, to Geek List item, and then thumb it. Look, just so easy. Suddenly, Martian Dice has one more thumb. Now, why are thumbs important? Two things. Every month, whatever game has the most thumbs on the list that I own. I don't own Dominion Empires yet, or Pillars of the Earth, uh, but I do own Battleline. I do own Innovation. I don't have Mexico, I, do, I don't have Cacao, I do have Lost Cities. Whichever one has the most thumbs that I have on that shelf back there, it's going to get run through that month. Um, this month, it, in fact, it is going to be Battleline, because I don't have Pillars of the Earth or Dominion Empires, but I do have Battleline, so it's going to get run through. So, if you're a fan of a particular game, and you see it languishing down here at the bottom of the list, Poor, um, I don't know, uh, My Happy Farm. A lovely little, uh, uh, you know, very light family farm game. Or Zombie Dice, or Nuremberg, or whatever it might be. And you want to see that thumbed? Here's the link. You know, if you want to see that filmed, make sure it gets more thumbs. Get the link for it. Thumb it yourself. And then get out the word. There's the URL. Um, you can go on ahead and you can post that on Twitter. You can post that on Facebook. You can go to the discussion forum for the game and say, folks, I want Rotto to run through Nuremberg so bad. Could it please get more thumbs? And to be fair, I don't actually have Th Nuremberg on the wall, but that's not the best example. But I want to see uh, Fish Cook or Food Chain or um, um, uh, a lot of these I don't actually have, but... Um, or. Descent Journeys in the Dark. I can't believe Descent Journeys in the Dark, second edition, has only 10 thumbs. There's got to be hundreds of people who would like to see me do a run through specifically of the new digital AI thing, the app you can download that turns Descent into a co op game. I want that myself. You can see I have thumbed this. I want to see this. If you want to see me do it, get the people, get the word out, get the thumbs, and it'll scream to the top of the list. Whatever's at the top of the list at the beginning of the month, it gets a run through. Now that's just the beginning. Basically what happens, if your Rotto runs through voter every month, you are going to get an email. It's a very unassuming one. Looks like this. Rotto runs through survey link from Rotto survey at bnbgaming.com. You might want to check. If you're a voter, check your spam filters every once in a while because some people this ends up in their spam folder. You might want to make sure it doesn't. I mean, we, we do everything we can to make sure that doesn't happen, but for some people, it ends up in their spam folder. But you get this thing, you follow the link, 
and it takes you to your own personal voting ballot where you can and you can see I've already voted for West of Africa because I vote in this thing too um, but uh, let's see and you know but I don't have to stop there I could vote for eminent domain exotica I could vote for back to the future and adventure through time and um, you know samurai and what the heck I'll vote for all those I'll submit my vote and now you'll see oh look those four games are in a four-way tie I could change my vote if I see other people have voted and that's put something else higher I could say ah to heck with samurai I don't want to go to Kenichia samurai I want to go to Kenichia's lost cities instead you can change your vote and basically so if you're one of my voters at the at basically in the final couple of weeks of every month you're gonna get an email with a link to here you generally get two or three days so you don't have much time to come here and vote and my my Kickstarter backers my uh, my, my, my the people who have funded my show they will get to pick um, three games that I film every month plus a top 10 topic so that's um, five games right there that the fans of Rado Run Survey. The one that's at the top of the thumbs list, the three that the actual voters do, plus a top ten that the voters choose as well. And that's it, folks. That is the Rado Runs Through voting system. As you can see, hopefully, everybody can get involved. If you've got a game you really want to see me run through, get it on the request list, get it thumbed. And if you want to go even further, well, um, support the show so you can actually become one of those rare voters who actually chooses a whole bunch of games for me every month. And that's it, folks. Questions, comments, concerns, as always, let me know. Otherwise, I hope you have a very, very nice day. Talk to you later. So long. Uh, bye bye